Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial today on sample spaces and theoretical probability. Today we are going to have a look at something very similar to last lesson. However, we're going to broaden our understanding of probability and possible results that we can get. When we look in the long run, now that phrase means like over a long period of time. So, for example, in probability, for a very large number of tri uh, trials, the relative frequency... So this idea of how, uh, how relative something is from occurring of an event will match in theory what we know or its theoretical probability. A sample space, this is the other word that you need to be able to understand, is a list of all the possible outcomes. So when you hear the word talking with probability, what's a sample space? It means what are all the possible outcomes? Theoretical probability or in theory how probable something is, is given by this rule. P event equals the number of favourable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. Okay, this is theoretical probability. This is, that's P in brackets event is how I write theoretical probability. And I work it out by dividing the number of favourable outcomes by the number of possible outcomes. Let me show you what I mean. A standard six-sided dice is rolled for, uh, in an experiment. What is the sample space okay, for this experiment? Okay, So, what options? If it's a standard six-sided dice, I could roll one, two, three, four, five, or six. That's how many rolls, I, that's how many uh, different possible options that I could roll. That's the number of possible outcomes, because remember, sample space is concerned with how many possible outcomes. Okay? Six. Six is the, is the sample space. Now, that's my sample space. Now, determine the probability of obtaining the following appearing uppermost. So, what that means is when I roll the dice, that the four appears on the top. Now, the number of possible outcomes, remember, this is my... My rule, the, pro the theoretical probability of rolling, instead of writing event now, I'm going to write the actual event, 4, equals the number of favourable outcomes. Now, on that dice, the number of possible outcomes, or well, my sample space is 6, the number of favourable outcomes is 1, because there's only one 4 on that 6. So the probability of a 4 appearing on the top is 1 out of 6. Now, that'll change if it's an odd number, okay? So the probability of finding an odd number, see how this time, depending on what the event is that I'm, ask, um, I'm after, I'm changing the name in the brackets, the theoretical probability of throwing an odd number, well, there's one, two's not an odd, three's an odd, four's not an odd, five's an odd, uh, six is an odd. So there's one, three, and five, which are three out of a possible six. Now, I'm hoping some of you guys can see that there's a way to write 3 over 6 more simply. The theoretical probability of rolling an odd number is a half. Now, the last example. The number of uh, 5 or less. Okay, so the number of possible, uh, the theoretical probability of 5 or less. Okay. Number of possible, there's six sides on the dice. Now, including five, because it says five or less is five options, which means the probability of attaining a five or less is five over six. And that's it, guys. That's theoretical probability. What you have to understand is possible outcomes is your sample space, and favorable outcomes is how many times the thing that you're looking at is likely does occur in your trials.